Hello, my name is Emily Banks, and this is my Unit 2 Sports Med 3 project on strengthening and conditioning the bicep and tricep muscles. To begin, we'll start with anatomy. Triceps make up about 55% of your upper arm muscle mass. As well, triceps help complete a number of things, including shoulder stabilization, which allows you to carry objects above your head, shoulder extension, which allows you to move your arms behind your body, and elbow extension, which allows you to extend your form away from the rest of your body. Triceps have two important anatomy points. There's the long head, this green area, and there's the lateral head, this outside red area. Biceps, on the other hand, make up about 30% of your upper arm muscle mass. Biceps as well help with shoulder elevation, which allows you to raise your arms above your head, forearm supination, which allows you to turn your palms upwards towards the sky, and flexion of the elbow joint, which allows you to bring your forearm into your body in a sort of flexing motion. Biceps have three important anatomy points. There's the short head, this inner green area, the brachialis, this outside red area, and the long head, this inner blue area. Both biceps and triceps are extremely important, with neither one being more important than the other. In fact, they are antagonist muscles, meaning that they work together to complete a number of motions, including pushing, pulling, and lifting objects. My overall goal for this project is to create an easy routine that anyone can do without a lot of experience or supplies. As well, I hope to strengthen my athlete without causing injury or overexerting her. Lastly, I want to be able to see physical improvement in my athlete's arm strength. My athlete in question is student Sadie Laster. Sadie is already a member at a gym and familiar with many upper arm exercises, yet she still wants to improve in her upper arm strength and lifting abilities. We decided to focus specifically on the biceps and triceps so that the program wouldn't be so varied and we could have more focus on a certain niche topic. For my baselines, I had Sadie complete a number of exercises, including hammer curls, bicep curls, and tricep kickback burns. For each of these exercises, I had Sadie continue these exercises for an entire minute as she counted her reps. At the end, I then had her measure out of 10 how much of a burn she felt in each arm. As well, I had Sadie complete side lateral raises. She completed each side lateral raises from 6 pounds to 15 pounds and then measured how much struggle she felt she had. Sadie didn't really struggle with any of the side lateral raises until around 12 pounds where she started to feel it in her left arm. For the program, we decided to go with a one day off, one day on routine so that she could have recovery in between so her muscles could heal. For the program, I had Sadie complete a warm-up. This warm-up included of 1 minute of arm circles, 30 scapular wall slides, and 30 wall push-ups. For the program, I had two, two areas, one without weight and one with weight. For the without weight program, I had Sadie do tricep dips, which was about 10, inchworms, which was about 5, and plank shoulder taps for 10 for each arm. For the with weights part of the program, I had Sadie complete kettlebell swings that she had a kettlebell with 10 pounds for, side lateral raises, which she did 10, hammer raises, which she did 10, and bicep curls, which she did 10s, and of course, tricep kickback burns, which she also did 10 of. For the cool down stretch, I see you do a number of stretches. Each of these stretches focused on something different. There was triceps, forearms, shoulder range of motion, wrist and forearm stretching, shoulder and upper arm stretching, and shoulder, arm, and wrist stretching. This meant she got her entire arm stretched because all of her the exercise we had her do focused on most of the arm, even though they specifically they specifically targeted the biceps and triceps. We wanted to make sure everything was moving okay. For results, I was able to compare the amount of burn she had as well as how many reps Sadie had. In all, we can actually see that there was an average rep decrease of about 1.34 and there was an 
average burn increase of about 3 out of 10. Usually we take this and think that it's not that great of results, but I'm actually pretty pleased with this because it means that, is that, that the program I created is actually doing something and that Sadie is starting to feel strain from doing this program, even if it was only for about a week. Overall, Sadie did very well and I'm pretty pleased with the results of Sadie being able to feel fatigue with her muscles, which were shown in the results. Thanks for watching.